Hey everyone, this is Kasim from PHP Travels and in this video we are going to explore and learn about Amedeo's API of flights. So first of all we have to navigate to docs at phptravels.com and then from menu we have this flights option and then we have to collect Amedeo's. On this page we have a uh, first step which is sign up at Amedeo's developer account so we have to open the Amedeus website with this URL and then we have to fill this form and sign up as a developer account so once we create our account then we have to sign in uh, from this URL we can read more about the categories of flies and further things and once our account is registered we just need to navigate to sign in from sign in add your credentials and then click on login and then um, after you log in to your Amedeus account click on your profile over here on right top and then click off my self service workspace once you click on this it will take you to another page where you can see your apps I have already created my app so what you have to do in your case because the account would be new you have to create a new account click on create new app and then type the name of your business organization startup whatever you would like and make sure to select these both options in my case also I have selected both and add some uh, description about your business and then click on create once you click on create you will get this uh, application done available here but of course it will be not live to make it live we have to like add our credit card and it will going to charge us some of uh, amount and our account will be our application will be live from Amedeus okay so once we open our application scroll down here and here you can see you have the test keys for your development and also if your account went live after paying the amount of uh, purchasing the API calls you can also get the live credentials which I am getting here so what you have to do is first of all to test your developer account everything is working fine just copy these two credentials first of all we have to copy the api key and then api secret key okay so let's just move on to our web application just type your domain name slash admin so that you can log in as an admin to your account as i have logged in and then from settings visit modules in modules click settings of Amidius and then what we have to do is we have to copy our API key the first one that will goes to second row like this and then we have this API secret key we will copy this and we have to paste on the third row which is third credentials make sure do not change client credentials that will remain same all you have to do you have to add the credentials to this API key and the credentials 3 is your API secret once you're done add your markups for B2C over here and deposit for example if you would like to get the percentage of deposit let's say there is a booking of flight ticket and the ticket cost hundred dollars so if you write it deposit hundred percent your client is bound to pay you hundred percent of the amount otherwise you can charge them partial amount all right so then we have a b2b markup you can set over here and then lastly we have b2e markup which is uh, whatever the price you would like to set an amount you would like to set then you can set up the tax rate over here and then service fee if you are using any payment gateway or any additional service is going to cost you over this ticket you can mention it only the value over here all right so once we done this make sure your account is under development mode so that you can just try this api test keys 
so I have just added my credentials and I'm going to disable any other flights module so that I can test that my Amadeus API is working fine so I have disabled all other flights modules and I have enabled only Amadeus so just also uh, let us check on the front page let me search from Santo Rini to Dubai search and now it's searching from Amadeus and now I can see these are the results I'm getting these are from Amadeus if you would like to double check if they are coming from Amadeus or not simply just disable the Amadeus module and go back to your home page and hit the same search again and now we can see there is no result which means the flights module is disabled so that's all for now thank you